I think it's so critical that the bench reflect the community. So for me, it's important that the public know there are openly gay people on the bench. That's what the judiciary is. In order to be an effective third branch of government, we have to understand the people who come before us. First of all, I love Pride Month, and um, Pride Month started as a rebellion. It started in Stonewall, um, so I really believe in what Bayard Rustin, who fought alongside Martin Luther King, I believe in what he said as a gay man, and he said we need in every bay and community a group of angelic troublemakers. And so I try to find an opportunity during Pride Month, I don't know that I'm angelic, but to uh, in some way make a contribution to advancing the ball towards equality, uh, not just for LGBTQI uh, plus people, but for all people. I am one of the lucky ones. My parents have always been supportive, and I'm very aware that to this day, that is not the case for so many um, young people coming out uh, addressing their own gender identity or sexual orientation. And so I take it very seriously that we need to continue to make progress so that everybody is fully embraced and supported uh, for being whoever they are. As a young person, I just was drawn to protest and to social change. And then at a certain point, I wanted to have a family and I, I knew that I needed a day job for that and not a job that was in meetings all night. <laughs> so really my interest in law school was because I, I liked advocacy, I liked representing others and uh, I needed a day job. So that's what drew me to law school and I uh, went here to the University of Michigan here in Ann Arbor. And um, from there, I became a, a lawyer and I had a great fortune of working for the United States government. Well, as a law clerk first, later at the EEOC and uh, finally at the U.S. Attorney's Office doing civil rights enforcement. So, um, so it was all kind of a, an, an evolution. The greatest obstacle that I think I've faced is believing that I can do the job that I am seeking to do or selected to do. So it wasn't so much that other people were throwing up obstacles or preventing me. It was more of a, a, a lack of confidence in my own self that I could, could, do, could perform in the job. I think for a young person sort of launching into their own future, be your whole self wherever you are. Whether you're in school, whether you're at home, whether you're at a restaurant, wherever you are, to just be your whole self and not feel that you have to compartmentalize and, oh, I've got to behave this way here and this way there. I was just raised to, to pursue what interested me and, and what motivated me and to be myself. So, and that's one of the things as a mother that I have tried to uh, bring into my own parenting, which is to not set expectations for who my children will be, but just to nourish them and nurture them, give them free time as children to play, to be bored, to figure out who they are, what motivates them, what they're interested in, and to pursue it. We can't be the entire community, but combined, I, it's my hope that the federal bench and, and other benches reflect the communities we serve. I am so thankful to have the opportunity to serve as a federal judge. It is an awesome responsibility. It is a challenge intellectually. It's a challenge to my heart. It means that there are people who came before me who, who opened doors. I was able to uh, benefit from that, to go through the door, and what 
What my goal is, is to hold it open. And I'm going to stand there in the door if it's trying to close. And I'm going to hold it open for others to come through. And so I take it very seriously that we need to continue to make progress so that everybody is fully embraced and supported for being whoever they are.